All right, welcome back to Resident Evil Remake. Let's play. Um, let's see, what do I need to do? Go ahead and put that ink ribbon back and the knife, because who really uses the knife? And then I'm going to grab this clip of ammunition. I don't really care about reading about the light. Just give me the... Wait, what is this? Okay, some... Okay, this is just about the canteen that we can use when we take out our zombie friends. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Alright, let's go explore the world of terror. All the monsters that could be out there and everything. Alright, so... Wait, is that zombie not still... Oh, crap. Dual shock battery is getting low. Okay, I'm forgetting controls here. Nothing like wasting our health. It's been a minute since I played this, so I'm trying to remember things. Come on, blow. Oh, I was really hoping your head would blow off, but oh well. He looks like he's gonna get back up because I don't think I see blood. Yep. Oh, I was hoping that head would blow off. Can't get the stupid dagger back now. I actually stopped and just pushed X because I'm used to the old school games where you had to do that. Okay, so let me think. Yeah, okay, so I don't have the key for these rooms. And over there, all you do is light up a... Oh, God, I'm forgetting how many zombies there are, like, throughout this area. Wow, I'm not looking like I'm very good at this game right now. Alright, let me just use this. I could wait until he gets up. Let's see. Come on, man. Get back up. Okay, hang on. My, my little cord over here is hitting my mic. Take him down. Alright, good. This game still has my favorite design for the zombies. Like, I just, I love the way these zombies look in this game. And I'm pretty sure there's a zombie around here. Anything useful? I'm pretty sure this is where the dog whistle is, yeah. And we need the dog whistle to get another key, the fate key. So what we got over here, is this the dog whistle? Yep, well you take the dog whistle. I will definitely take the dog whistle. Today Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Hope it wasn't the dog whistle because he put it on the desk. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. Unless you got a gun. As far as I could tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle, which I left on a desk. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Who's he? Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. A key? You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange of your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John Tolman. Alright, so what we got over here? This is like another handgun clip. Take that. 60 shots now. Um, anything else of use in here? Something. The lighter. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll take it now because I know if I don't, I'll forget about it. We'll just go back out here and go back to the item area and put this up. And then I can go blow the dog whistle. Blow his brains out with my 
shotgun. And honestly, I need to grab that canteen because I, I really should burn these guys. But I, uh, it doesn't come with fuel. And I don't know, does this area have a fuel tank? Okay, it does. It does. I was kind of debating on that one because I was like, does it? Alright, so if I bring the fuel tank, that's going to fill me back up again. But we, we use the dog whistle like immediately. Ah, oh, wait, problem. You can't use it because you have to carry the lighter as well. And I just don't feel like getting rid of all my good stuff. Because honestly, it's not that big of a deal if they come out. You have to use like one shotgun shell for the crimson heads. Or you can just run past them, so it doesn't really matter. If I wasn't carrying so much stuff, maybe I would risk it, but I really don't feel like risking it. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm, I'm like playing old school here, using the D-pad. I'm used to using the analog stick. Either one's fine. Alright. I never understood what this thing was for, because I've always, I've beat the game so many times, but I don't ever recall using that. So I'm not sure what it's for. Can I go in here yet? No, okay, that's the armored. Which is the key I'm going after now. Can't go in there either. That's the armor. I'm trying to remember what this key that I got currently goes to. Okay, so there's still one more key. Barry. Jill. Any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? It's a weapon. A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Now what's the point of finding a back door? Because wouldn't the back door just lead to more forests with more zombie dogs? Why not just go out the front door if you're going to look for a back door? But who am I to be logical? What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. It's, it's kind of weird that in this remake they get rid of two of the most popular quotes. The Jill Sandwich quote and the I have this quote, but they bring them both back in the Revelations too. Claire says it when she says, I almost became a Claire sandwich, and then Barry, of course, at the final game, pulls out his magnum and says, I have this. So they bring back the um, iconic quotes from the original 1996 game, but I don't know why they didn't take them and put them in here. I mean, I can understand you don't want to make it as silly as it was from before. And so you cut those out. I'm trying to think if I'm going the right way. Because I don't think this is. No. Nope. Yep, this ain't the right way. I was supposed to go through the other door. If I can unlock it. Because I think it's actually locked. And if this door doesn't work, then I have to go downstairs way. All right, good, it worked. But yeah, I would have liked to have seen those quotes come back into the game. I don't know, it would, it would have been nice. Okay, can I unlock this? Yeah, I can, what is out here? So that's another thing that's so nice about Jill's story mode is that with her campaign, you actually have, okay, yeah, this is the area I need to go to. Oh, wrong button. Is that Claire or Jill? She has a lockpick, so it's just so much nicer. Who's a good boy? All right, we'll shoot him with the handgun this next time. All right, is there another one? Just two? Okay. Oh yeah, let's take his collar. Oh wait, it's over here. Okay, never mind. 
So much easier to get this collar and this key. What? Seriously? Oh, hang on me. You probably don't need the dog whistle anymore. Discard it? Yes. And then I gotta go back out and get the collar. Don't know why it doesn't give you that option a little earlier. But yeah, in Resident Evil 6, the key you have to get from that dog takes a lot longer to get to because there's so many obstacles that they throw at you. Alright, so there's that. That's the uh, extra key we need. I can go ahead and go down this way. Unlock this door over here. Unlock it. And then this room, we go back downstairs into the dining room and go to where that fake area is. But I still have this extra key. Can I go over here first? Maybe it works for this door. Darn it, I was really hoping it would. So that's another armored key. Because I still have the... Yeah, I still have this mansion key. But what door have I not tried to unlock yet? Unless, of course, it is... Over here. And it's the... Door with the fake shotgun. That might be the door. So let me go check that out real quick. And then I'll do this collar key puzzle thing. Oh, okay, here it is. Should be just down here. It is insane how much different this mansion looks compared to the remake. Like, in this, or compared to the original. Like, in this one, I got company. Let's see. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I got my handgun. Oh, wait. Hang down. Oh, God. Oh! Jeez! Oh, he's, oh, he's the drunk. Good lord. Okay, hang on. Just... Jeez. How many shots was that? that? I've never seen that. Okay, I was really hoping to blow your legs off or something, but oh well. Two crimson heads, whatever. Okay, that's the save room. I'll go in there in a minute. I want to see this. Um, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, that's a lockpick door? Crap. And that's locked. Well, I'm out of options as to where this key could go. I mean, I'll find it eventually, of course, but I don't know where it would be as of now. I want to go in here real quick just to get the ink ribbons, because I know there are ink ribbons in here. Oh, is that a taser? Yeah, I'll take that as well. See, if the merchant was in this game, I could sell that shotgun. Go ahead and get that out of the way, and just a little extra money. I'm glad he's not in this game, though, because it's like... I enjoy this aspect of it. I enjoy playing the game and what you find is what you get. There isn't any merchant that can upgrade your weapons to a super powerful weapon where your handgun is as powerful as a magnum and your magnum is like strong enough to kill the final boss in two shots. So I'm, I'm a fan of not having the merchant, but if it were to go into a more action oriented direction, then I would take the merchant. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in the bag. Um, obviously don't need the grenade rounds right now. And I probably don't need the ink ribbons. Well, I do want to save, but... Hmm. I'm in this area and I can't unlock that door yet because I don't have that key yet. And I'm at 15 minutes now, but... I don't know, I'll just save. Go ahead and save here, and then I'll get ready for the next episode. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and get that, because if I don't, I won't really have done much other than get the collar. So I'll just go ahead and get that key. Because it shouldn't take that long to go get it. I mean, it's just right down here. I forget how long it takes these guys to turn into crimson heads. Alright, come on, Jill. 
go this way. But anyways, before I was getting distracted earlier, the way this mansion looks compared to um, how it looked in the original is completely different. Like in this game, the entire mansion layout looks fairly similar. Like you can look at this mansion and the color palette and everything is pretty much the same. It's a dark gray brown color palette. Whereas in the original, it's just all over the place. You'll go in one room and it will be like completely red. Another room, it could be dark gray. I mean, it was just all over the place. They didn't know what they wanted to do with the mansion. And I like both versions of it. Go back in the dining room. Okay, so that cutscene that we had a second ago with Barry, it's like I know how to activate that cutscene and I know how to activate the cutscene with, you know, the shotgun, obviously. But I can never remember how you get the one where you meet him outside with Forrest. And you look at Forrest's dead body and all that. Um, what am I thinking about doing here? Can I unlock this? Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, I bet this key unlocks the... Yeah, okay, I know where this key goes now. This key unlocks the lower floor. Where do I need to go? Okay, yeah, okay, I had a... had a blank moment there for a second trying to think what I was doing. Because I just now remember where this key goes. This key that I'm currently carrying, it goes to the kitchen area. I'm pretty sure up here is where I need to go. Because I should have two options. One of those options will take me to where I need this key. Yeah, straight across. Okay, crimson heads are a thing now. Kind of feels like the crimson head should have showed not showed up after the prototype once you fought that. But then again, that wouldn't be quite as surprising. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and examine this. There's a switch. Will you press it? Yes, I will. A coin was hidden inside the collar. Okay, there's something unusual. And now it is in the shape of a key. Awesome. So now I'm gonna take this key. This is like one of the most iconic puzzles to me for some reason. I don't know, it just sticks to me more than all the others. All right, so that's the mansion key. This is the fake keys. Alright, so now we have the mansion key and we can now access the other rooms that have the armor emblem on it, which will allow us to go and explore more of the mansion. I am curious to see what kind of puzzles they have added to the remake. I could have went out that other door. Like, I am kind of curious to see what puzzles they've added, what puzzles they may have taken out. Shh, be quiet. Alright, so... I guess I'm just going to go ahead and save this real quick. Why you gotta make all this noise at the end of the video, man? Come on. Hey. It's just right here. Just need you to be quiet for literally 30 more seconds. And then I wanna save. I am very happy that the typewriter is being impl implemented in these remakes and everything. That's nice. Okay, I'm ending the episode before this dog keeps barking. See you all in the next episode of Resident Evil Remake. See you then.